Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with part two of my video series, Rare Movies Not Released on DVD or Blu-ray. So I posted part one of this video series a couple of days ago, and I seem to have gotten a pretty good response. So thank you to everybody who watched and everyone who commented. I definitely think this will be a fun series to post and a fun series to discuss. As I said in part one, I'll be posting about three titles in each of these videos, and all the titles that you see have never received an official Region 1 DVD or Region A Blu-ray release. So they may have been released in other areas and other countries, but they've never received an official US release. I also mentioned that while most of these titles will be horror films, I will throw in some non-horror titles from time to time. In this video, I will be including one, and I'll start out the video with that one. While this movie definitely isn't considered a horror film, I do know a lot of people that actually find this movie quite creepy. And it is called The Peanut Butter Solution. So again, no official US release on disc for this one, no DVD, no Blu-ray. This right here is a VHS, still sealed as you can see. It's considered a family film, considered a movie for kids. But there are just, you know, some definitely some dark spots in this one uh, that I know a lot of people tend to remember. Anybody who grew up watching this movie will probably remember it fondly. Definitely a fun film, but definitely some creepy elements. Basically, it's about an 11-year-old kid who goes into an abandoned mansion, um, gets what they call the fright, uh, gets scared by a ghost, and loses all of his hair. Um, at this point, the movie gets even stranger and he's told by friendly ghosts that the secret ingredient to making his hair grow back is peanut butter so using the peanut butter he you know puts it on his bald scalp and uh from there it just kind of gets out of hand and he uses a bit too much peanut butter his hair starts growing like crazy and it's just a wacky out there sort of film um definitely a fun movie again definitely one that people tend to remember fondly and it's one of those movies that really shouldn't scare you but I know growing up, you know, I, again, I know a lot of people definitely found this movie creepy. So wanted to include it here, a nice addition to the series. The next movie I'll be showing in this video is the 1989 comedic zombie film, Nightlife. Now ignore the name Nancy Lawrence there written across. It's just the name of the past owner of this VHS tape, which is the only way you can see this movie in the U.S. Because, again, no DVD, no Blu-ray release of this one. Now this movie is about this guy right here who actually looks like Zach Braff on the cover from Scrubs. You can get a good look there. Not him, but this guy is a high schooler, works at his uncle's mortuary at night. Um, while he's at school, gets picked on by this group of bullies. You know, typical, you know, high school movie. Um, however, the bullies end up getting in a car accident. They get killed. So, of course, he has to deal with the bodies. You know, if that's not bad enough, you know, having to work on these bullies that tormented you at school... An electrical storm occurs and brings the bullies back to life as zombies. So now this Zach Braff lookalike and his girlfriend are dealing with these zombie bullies at his uncle's mortuary. And it's just a wacky fun time. Um, this one is a movie that I watched a lot growing up because, again, you know, it really wasn't all that scary. It had these comedic moments to it. But, again, it was found in the, in the horror section. So I always considered it a horror film. Um, again, no release on DVD or on Blu-ray, which is... Kind of surprising, I guess. And this VHS tape, because of that, goes for a pretty high price. I know, you know, it goes upwards of $50 on uh, Amazon and on eBay. You tend not to be able to find it for any cheaper than that. So, a highly sought after VHS tape, Nightlife. The last movie I'll be showing in part two of this video series is probably the closest one to horror. You know, while Nightlife definitely has some horror elements with the zombies and whatnot, um, this movie's a bit more horror-oriented. But it also has that humor as well. And it is The Brain. Now this is, again, another fun movie. I know I said that for all three of the movies that I've shown in this video. But they, they really are. They're all fun films. This one's about basically a crazy doctor, crazy scientist who has his own TV show. But he's working together with this alien brain. And basically taking over people's minds when they, when they watch the show. Um, people are watching the show and as popular as the show gets... More and more people are committing suicide and committing, you know, crazy acts and, and whatnot. 
Um, this movie is pretty much famous for the teddy bear scene. So anybody who has seen The Brain will probably know what I'm talking about. But this is just out there. Such a such a great movie. Great cover art. Look at that. Look, This is the back of the box. Look how great that image is. Cheesy, of course. I mean, look, you know, look at the special effects in this one. But definitely a good time. Um, again, this is another VHS tape that tends to go for fairly high prices on eBay and on Amazon when they do come up. It's hard to get it in, you know, a, a really good shape box. Um, you kind of got to take what you can get for this movie just to be able to watch it. Seems to be a popular one among VHS collectors and uh, one that a lot of people would like to see on, on DVD and Blu-ray. Seems to me that this would be a perfect title for Scream Factory to release at some point, but hey, what do I know? So, The Brain, if you've seen this movie, please comment below. Let me know what you think. So that's it for part two of my video series, Rare Movies, not on DVD or Blu-ray. As always, please comment below. Let me know what you guys think of these movies if you've seen them. I'll be back soon with part three. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.